men feeling like they have a right over women's bodies you do not just being a woman shouldn't be reason enough for you to not be able to rent a house or not be able to enter certain places they just it's, it's just crazy hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is sma siri and in today's video i'm going to be reviewing in danny's latest web series afro city so let's get into this video if you loved my name is az or giddy or, or all that grimy ghetto stuff then afro city is the web series for you to watch like and danny even went as far as pulling a netflix and dropping all six episodes of season one of Afri City last Friday. So each episode is around 27, 25 minutes long. Having said that, let's now go into what this series is about. So Afro City is about the story of a young man, Voke, who comes to Lagos for the first time in pursuit of a white collar job or, you know, finding um stability of getting a job and he's living with his brother however somehow he gets um entangled with the with bad company as he somehow derails from his purpose of coming to lagos by trying to follow his dreams of becoming a high life musician or becoming the next weasel vocal as they called him so we see all the, the drama that and sues as he goes along or mixes with this bad crowd it this series stars chimizie imo tokwe tedela ijoma gris agu and a host of all other great actors and actresses anyway that's that about the plot and the cast the acting the acting guys the acting in this series is what sold it for me even way more than the story i think the story is great and i'll come to that but the acting was believable all the characters i naturally love Tokwe tedela i just like the way he talks and his face but he acted so well and the lead chimese imo that was playing vokeh he really acted like this annoying brother that has just come to lagos for the first time frustrated he, he really portrayed his character so well that i was like okay bros i i feel you and that's where he acted and it wasn't just Tokwe or chimese imo ijama grace agu was in az so i was very happy to see her here again and she didn't disappoint she acted as ibidun um Luke's brother's girlfriend and they were they were just so many even the supporting roles Fryo, kingsley everybody was on point nobody missed a beat like the people that were acting like all these ghetto boys all these bad boys and all like i was legit scared watching them and i was like yeah I'm, I'm, i started wondering I was like, he didn't actually go to these places and get these guys to come and act this role because that's how good they acted let's talk about my very favorite part which is like the heart of any review the story in itself i'm not going to lie it was a little bit of a slow burn episode one was got me like yo and then i think because it's six episodes the middle episodes were a little bit blair for me i was just like mm. but i think it was nice continuity was spot on the story was great what i particularly liked about this series is the fact that they highlighted some of the societal issues that we face in nigeria the most important one the one that stood up right from episode one is the fact that as women in nigeria we are not allowed to carry out certain exercises like bailing someone from prison like when i watched it i was like exactly we need to talk about these things even more like just for being a woman just being a woman shouldn't be reason enough for you to not be able to rent a house or not be able to enter certain places they just it's, it's just crazy and i'm just going to digress a little bit because this morning i watched um dima ume's vlog and she was hinting at something similar about not being being able to do certain things just because she's a woman like when i watched it i was like i don't know where this mindset came from but it really really needs to be corrected it is a whole lot of bull as far as i'm concerned like 
the Vokai guy comes to Lagos for the first time, crosses the road without the pedestrian brakes. So he gets arrested. The brother can't go and bail him, calls his girlfriend up, says, Hey, my brother's there, go bail him. She gets to the police station. First of all, the police, the fact that they weren't even taking her seriously was already annoying me. And then she's like, Okay, how much to bail him? And they're like, You want to bail him? Go and bring your husband or your boyfriend. I'm just like, Come on, come. On. Um, and I do hope that people correct their mindsets it is very it's a very very backwards way of thinking so there's a part where the guy is actually um in a bus so the vocal guy is late for his interview he's in the bus and then all of a sudden the woman in front of him turns and slaps him claiming that he was touching her behind now in watching this we knew that the guy didn't touch her yet but let's just reverse it let's say he actually did because it happens it happens i don't know why in nigeria you enter the public transport and some weird creepy dude will be touching your behind just because like to see when i watched and she slapped him i was like you know what everybody who does that excuse me <laughs> everybody who does that actually deserves a stinking slap because it happens like we are, I, I feel like as women in nigeria we're not safe at all and i don't even want to now go into this recent like if you've been on twitter or following the news you've been hearing about this whole rape thing it starts from things like this men feeling like they have a right over women's bodies you do not you do not okay i'm about to go there but i don't want to go there so aside from all of these issues that were raised um let's talk about the actual actual story 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 in itself and if you watched if you haven't watched it sorry this might give you a little bit of spoiler but if you have ooh, this is our part to actually gist about this series Voke is very annoying Voke is that kind of brother that i just want to you know hit his head and reset his back this Voke guy just brought on a shitload of drama to him and his family for no reason like you just came to lagos dude you just came like even if you want to follow your music dreams and all of that i have nothing against musicians i think it's a viable vocation it's a nice job if it's something that you're good at you're talented and the stars align for you <laughs> obviously you blow up and become the next whiskey but in the meantime like find something to do and try to make sure you're not going with the wrong crowd like that was the issue i had with him like he just came i know his brother was kind of giving him a hard time and being really tough with him and i was like okay bros you need to chill but he himself he didn't he didn't look well <laughs> let me put it like that like it's very obvious like okay you went late for your interview you had a shitty interview you came back next thing you want to smoke first of all common sense you know that any random abuki will be selling cigarettes no dude had to ask oh please where can i get smoke from the malam in his house that one didn't have that one directed him to a place where he got beat like he clearly knew like that place i should never go there but instead he befriends one of the guys that helped him in a sense because one of the guys recognized him um because they had eaten in the same restaurant the previous day which is the first day he arrived in lagos and i'm like dude stay clear you know that these people are obviously involved in something shitty but no dude tells you oh don't worry i'm going to help your music career like second thing second strike oh, you're rolling with the wrong crowd you're eyeing the capon's girl he has clearly come up to you and told you that hey this is my chick you 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 guys have talked it out like men but you still go behind his back to sleep with the girl i'm just like why do people like drama like this like it was not enough for you you now went to kiss your brother's girlfriend uh -uh, uh -uh. that one i don't blame him alone because it was consensual it was both of them this the brother's girlfriend i don't care even if somebody is treating you anyhow and you want to get like emotional comfort from someone like is the bells in your brain not ringing that this is my boyfriend's brother like sense people sense and let's talk about his brother i just find found that the brother was very stiff 
and if at all he wanted to reach out to Voke and get Voke to be in a place where he's comfortable and you know guide him through these murky waters of Lagos or you know settling into Lagos the manner in which he was trying to talk to his brother was very degrading it was very undermining because he's a young man yes he might not have a steady source of income he's living in your house under your roof but that does not give you the right to you know talk to him anyhow you know you need to tread carefully these are adults he could have talked to him nicely in a better way because it was because of one of their blowouts that um, Vuke actually left home, you know, said, oh, I'm leaving your house. I'm not going to stay. First of all, once I, you've gotten into an argument with your brother, your brother is telling you he wants to leave the house. This is someone that has barely spent a year in Lagos. Who does he know? That should have made him, like, shocked him into reality, like, okay, relax, don't go anywhere. But he let his brother storm out of house, packed his bag, left, and went to go and leave with this bad gang, this drug, crazy Igbo people. And that's where he got, you know, lumped into this vendetta that that one had on had going on. So yeah, when I watched, I was just like, they are both at fault. Of course, Vuken made a lot of bad choices, but his brother didn't exactly help in, in that situation. Um, another thing I wanted to talk about with the brother is relationships. So I just found that just because you're in a relationship and you're working so hard and you're providing for your girlfriend, maybe that's living with you, does not mean that is enough. Women are very emotional beings and we kind of need you to be with us physically, like be present. Don't just be in the same room walking all day and you're like, ah, have I not been here with you? Like, I feel like, yeah, she had no right to, you know, kiss Voke or go to Voke, but clearly she, she her, her emotional needs were met. He was too focused on uh, securing the bag that he forgot to play his part as her boyfriend. And I think it was not even nice. You've been dating someone for two years, but you've never told your parents or your mom or your sibling about her. Like... <clears throat> Mm, are you ashamed of her? <laughs> I'm not a relationship expert, but personally, I just found that their relationship already had cracks in it at that point. Like, mm -mm, mm -mm. I mean, this series, I really, really loved it. It gave me a, it's, I don't know, it made me feel a type of woman because I used to live in Lagos. I just loved seeing the streets of lagos seeing that lagos is not all roses it is not all always flashy island life like on the mainland things happen even on the island things happen so i like that they showed this new this other perspective of the struggles that young adults go through you know as a creative or as just someone who's looking for a white collar job to make ends meet you know, um, struggles of a f being female in Lagos, in Nigeria. I, I wouldn't say Nigeria as a whole because I don't know what happens in other states, so I don't want to misinform you, but Lagos is, is just a crazy place. I'll say overall, it was pretty decent. I'll give it four over five. I wanted to give it 3.5, but 4 over 5 because I'm feeling very generous today. Uh, before I go, um, let me know in the comment section below if you would like me to review the audio series on TNC Ashwebi. I'm listening to it and absolutely loving it. If you're watching it, do hey in the comment section below. And guess what, guys? Red TV is going to be dropping a Ghanaian web series very soon i don't know when but very soon and i'm waiting for that so when it drops i'll definitely update you here or i'll be updating you on my instagram story which is why you should be following me on instagram and yes guys that's the end of this video thank you so much for watching make sure to hit the like button share this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe until my next one bye Woodstock free vibes, homie.